Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial on my channel. In today's tutorial, it's going to be a really simple one. We're going to be learning about how we can upload a game to itch.io. Now, if you don't know what itch.io is, it's a common platform for indie game developers to upload their games, and it's really easy. So, let's begin. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is head to our Unity project, go to File, Build Settings, and we're going to want to switch this to WebGL. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to be uploading my game as I'm going to be uploading my game so that it can be played on the web. This is slightly different if you want to make your game downloadable, but I'll make a tutorial on that. So anyway, WebGL, we're going to click on Switch Platform. When you might when you come here, you might not get the Switch Platform. You might you might get something saying something like No package is installed, and which in which case there'll be a install package here. You just gotta click on that, it will take you to Unity's official website, download the package, then refresh your Unity and you should get the switch platform. So I'm just gonna click this and it's gonna and it may take one or two seconds, but I'll be back. Okay, now that we've got our Okay, now that we've got our game switched over to WebGL, there's one more thing we have to do before we can make our build. We've got to go to player settings resolution and we have to take down these numbers for the width and height so in this case mine is six is 960 by 600 and these will be pretty important a little bit later when we are configuring our itch.io page okay so now i'm just going to click on here build and that will take me to where i create my file so i'm just going to click on create new folder i'm going to name this web build web build cool i'm going to click on that because that's where i want to make my build and select folder and this might take one or two minute figuring okay guys so now i am back i have and the build has finished so as you can see when the build is finished it should take you to this file called web build which is what we named it and it should have all of this stuff in it okay cool okay guys so the last thing that we need to do before we can go to itch.io and start setting up our page is we need to zip our file so the way we do that i'm going to go to a website called 7zip download click on this click on the dot 7z one with the windows any click download and this should download the thing and once this is downloaded when we click on any file we should see that we get this 7-zip option okay so now so now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our web build file we're going to click on 7-zip and we're going to go add to web build dot zip that's going to zip our file and as we can see down here we're going to get this nicely packaged web build zip file where you can see it's a zip file is because there's a little zip on the file logo now we can start okay so now we can start setting up our itch.io page to do this first you're going to want to make sure that you have an account you're going to need an account to do this it's free then you're going to want to go to dashboard and go down to create new project so let's just make a title mine is shape shapes shape sprinter and i'm going to upload a cover image for this i'm just going to go to screenshots and we'll just take this one and it will upload there you can also upload a gameplay trailer i'm not going to do that right now because i don't have one and then project URL, that's going to be, make sure that the shape sprinter or the name of your game on the end there. Short description, I would recommend putting this here, even though it's optional. So just intense running action. Okay, so classification, we're uploading a game. And type of project, as I said earlier, this is going to be a web game. So we're going to switch that over to HTML. And then release status, ours is released, if you can just select this based on your game. 
pricing, I will just keep this how it is. If you want to do paid, you're gonna to have to set up some other configure some other stuff or no payments. I'm just gonna keep this on zero dollars or donate. Then uploads, this is super simple. We just click on upload files. We're going to go to our nice zipped file. Click open. Okay, once that once that you've got this screen, which shows that it has um finished, you're just gonna change this. Mine's only for Windows, so I'm gonna click this and also just tick that this file will be played inside the browser. Tick that. Cool, so now we've configured our build. So now we're gonna to go to embed options. And this is where those numbers that you wrote down earlier will come in handy. So remember, mine is 960 by 600. Okay, now if you wanna make your game a little bit bigger, you can fiddle around with, fiddle around with those settings in the build settings and then you're gonna to have to make a new build of the game. Okay, but I'm just gonna keep that how it is. Mobile friendly, this game is not mobile friendly. Automatically start, I would put... Okay, so for the description of my game, I've just done YouTube tutorial. Obviously, if you're gonna make this a real game that you're gonna release, then it would be better to um, make a longer description and whatever. Then for the genre, I'm gonna put rhythm. And tags, I'm gonna do 2D single player uh jumping unity um and colorful okay these tags are very important you need to put some thinking into these tags because they are quite important okay then custom noun that's not important um and and comments, uh, and then for the community, I'm just gonna keep this on comments. And then visibility and access, this will be by default be set to draft and you won't have the public um, the public option available. Don't worry about that. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on draft and click then click save and view page. Save and view page. And you should, and, and here we go, we have our, our game, it is loading. As you can see, there is our full screen button. And the game will load and you can play, test it out. I would recommend maybe fiddling around with the size, just getting, getting a feel for how the game plays on the web before you release it. And for now, as you can see, because this is a draft, we have a secret URL. Which is what you can use to your plate. You can which is what you can give your plate to testers to test the game out before you release it. And then to release it, you just click on the draft button, and you can change this to public. Now, when you change it to public, you'll get this configure settings button, and you can just fiddle around with these. I'm not going to. I'm not too bothered about that. But yeah, then we can hit save, and our game will be live. Now, I'm not going to do this because. I obviously need to put a bit more thought into this before I release it. But yeah, that would be how you release it if you want to. Okay, guys, so that was the video. As you can see, it's super simple to get your games on itch.io. I hope that you enjoyed. Please subscribe as I'm going to be doing more tutorial videos often now. Leave a like if you like this type of video. And I'll see you guys all next time.